I think I actually like something here. Okay, so what I see, again, we're going for forcing plays. This is this was a little weird one. So it's like I said earlier, if we check, um, and the rook takes, this would be mate. So he's not going to do that. But if we check, the king moves here. I check. And the king takes. I move this rook over here. The bishop will be covering these two squares. The only thing my opponent will be able to do is bring the queen over. And rook will take. I th That is that's a fully forced situation so that should be checkmate so let's see how it turns out so we're going to start with this king had to move over because if he takes this is mate now we're going to go here it's the only move it's completely forced rook here and the only move is to block and now this is mate so sometimes these are hard to see but looking for those forced sequences are going to start winning you guys so many more games. All right, so let's look at this puzzle right here. So it's black to move. So what options do we have here? Um, so we're always looking for checks and very forcing plays, like I always say. One thing I see here is check if one of them takes... We then can get our queen in the game um, because we have this. So his only move would be to go here. And then what are we going to do after that? If we check, the rook will come here. We then can take this. And that should be checkmate. And that's, those are all forced moves. So, like I said, um, it might not always be perfect in your games, but this is going, these puzzles are going to really help get you used to seeing those forced calculated plays. And don't try and do these puzzles super fast. Just see what you can do. So, I like this. One of these will take. I'm assuming this is going to take either one. It doesn't matter. Because so the whole goal is eventually our queen is going to end up on this square with a king here, a rook here, and the king will not be able to go to any of these squares. So check, either take, queen takes for check. King has to move here. There's no choice. Queen check. It'll block because the rook is guarding this file and then queen goes here. So check, check, here, block, and then we take here for mate. All right, so this is just a quick example from a game I had today. Um, and even these small calculations with pawns really can change the game. And in this case, it actually caused my opponent to resign. Just one small mishap with a pawn. So I push from b7 to b5, because I want to put some pressure this way. If he takes, I can either take and put some pressure this way. I could also go here, doing something this way. If he happens to come here, it's kind of the same thing. If, if he takes, I'm almost guaranteed that I'm going to take right here. Um, and then put some pressure this way. If he comes down here, like I said, we can go this way. Put some pressure here. We'll also maybe trying to get this rook here to force a trade. But my opponent decides to do this. And you'll see that this bar on the left goes through the roof in my favor. And this was a really bad decision. Because obviously if I fight for this pawn, this square right here, I lose. I take, 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 take. And I it's just going to, well, it's it'll still be an even game, but I'm going to lose my advantage. 
anyway. He just he has too many defenders for my attack. But what my opponent did not take into consideration is this. And this is exactly, this was the best move. And this is the reason that that bar went through the roof and went from like a 1.9 to now I'm plus four. Take that. And the reason being, if he takes, I can go right up the center of the board. I can also take this pawn and it has a de defender, uh, it's defended by the rook. This king cannot come and help whatsoever because this rook is cutting off the uh, that half of the board. So most likely here, if this pawn takes, I'm just coming up and taking. If he takes, great, that's going to be the end of the game. This, this pass pawn just won't matter at that point. And this is when my opponent decided to resign. He could have just gone here and it would have just been the loss of a pawn. But he ended up not wanting to fight that fight and just resigned here.